that I won the uh, Red Dragon High Roller. Before that, I was pretty much just playing cash. And um, I think it was because there was no cash game running or I didn't have a seat, so I went to play the uh, High Roller. This yeah. kind of buy-in size wasn't completely new to you? I think this may be the highest buy-in I've played, but I, I have played the uh, 2 million uh, Triton main event before so you know I've played similar stakes before and uh, in cash uh, I've played um, you know bigger before so I'm, I'm used to the stakes. It was a definitely a very tough final table especially since everybody was coming in rather short in chips the average being low and you said you told me before that it is important to win flips We've seen it with Dominic, who just couldn't win anything tonight. He was running super hard yesterday. Um, and then you tried to like, take over control on the table. You lost two big pots. Yeah. And then you had to win a flop to actually get back in. That's part of why I prefer playing cash, because um, it's generally uh, deeper stacked, and you get, to, you get to play a lot more, and you don't need to... Uh, you, you don't need to get it in as, as light. Most of the time you get to play post-flop, you get to play flop, turn, and river. So that's part of why I prefer cash. But, you know, tournaments are, are a different kind of fun. Uh, tournament, in tournaments there's different stack sizes and then people have different strategies. You're adjusting to the table, adjusting to the stack sizes a lot. Whereas in cash games, generally everyone is 100 big blinds or deeper. Um, in the games I play, uh, often 200 big blinds. So I still prefer cash games, but they're both fun. It, they're different types of fun. Um, did you have a specific game plan for each day that you came in for here? I would, you know, adapt a bit to the table, but generally I didn't change my playing style too much. Uh, Right from the beginning, I was going for first. Um, you know, my, my friends who know me know. You know, if I play a tournament, it's just to just to try and win it. I yeah, I, I didn't really have a set strategy. I, I was just trying to play the best I could each day, uh, just trying to win chips from my opponents. Talk me through the two hands of my next uh, Dominic with the A7. Not that much to talk about. Basically, being the bubble, um, I thought it was a good opportunity to put a lot of pressure. He happened to have the hand that you can't put pressure on. But uh, there's a lot of hands that he could have that would be in a really tough spot. And um, I still had, you know, one out drawing to the straight flush. It's mostly how I play, generally pretty aggressive. I do um, adapt to the table, but, you know, in general I play pretty aggressive. And, you know, it, it can work both ways, like, like you, you've seen on the stream. Like sometimes, uh, you know, it can backfire. I bluffed into Dominic when he had not flush, I bluffed into uh, Christoph when he had aces, but um, you know it's it's a double-edged sword. You, you win a lot of pots um, without necessarily have, having to have a big hand as well, and and um, they al they also uh, get you paid when you have a big hand because people know that you're capable of running these big bluffs. I really appreciate um, my friends. Uh, they were here for the whole. Uh, final table. Definitely feels like I couldn't have done it without them. Does it also feel good now, now that you've won the first brace that like Julian had won la last year so now it's one each so you can't have more bragging rights again now? Yeah, it, it, it's, it's definitely nice to win a bracelet. It's, it's a big reason I'm here. Um, I wouldn't say that winning a bracelet um, necessarily means you know you're a good player or not but uh, when I was a beginner in poker um, it was always just a dream of mine to win a bracelet one day even though I'm now playing you know high stakes and uh, tough games uh, which 
I personally feel means more than winning a bracelet, but I, I still wanted to, you know, check the check the box. Is it also something special? Because as far as I know, it's the first bracelet for Taiwan for your own country. What can I say? It feels great to be the first from Taiwan to win a bracelet, and uh, hopefully, this will inspire, you know, other players to. Um, you know, to, to try to keep improving their game and, and, and reach their own dreams.